Well, you're just video. Right, okay. video works. So with Mother's Day and Father's Day coming up, I think it's a good time to talk about photos, taking your own photos, sending photos to your loved one, saving photos, gifts that you could send, that kind of thing. So when Adam was inside, I started, when we when we first got back in touch, I used to send him the craziest pictures. As far as like, I would be like, oh, a leaf. The best pictures. I love you for that. But like, I got better as the years progressed. But in the beginning, I'm like, here's the lasagna we're eating for Easter. Not thinking you can't have a bite of the lasagna. Why would mm. I send you a picture and tease you? And like, I'm like, here are the leaves on the ground in the fall. Not realizing you get magazines, you get TV. Because I thought like, he'll never see that. You know what I mean? But so one, I got better throughout the years and I, I'll quickly share how I was able to figure out how to take pictures of myself by myself because I never had anybody to take the pictures of me. Two, I'd like to talk about what pictures you liked to get on the inside. And three, most importantly, not only did he like getting pictures, I found out since he's been home, he has such an eye to make the background beautiful. So I'd like to talk about that too. Are you down? Sure. Okay. So. <laughs> Really quick, before we continue with the video, I want you to know that today's video is sponsored by Aura Frames. What do your loved ones want to see the most at the holidays? You. And if things like schedules or distance or a pandemic or prison or new mom life keep your loved ones from seeing you on the holidays, well then Aura Frames has got you covered. Thoughtfully crafted and easy to set up, an Aura Frame keeps you close to the people who matter the most, making it easy to share photos and now video too from anywhere in the world using the Aura app. No wonder Oprah added it to her favorite things for the past three straight years. And it was recommended by over 130 gift guides, including the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, Forbes Magazine, and many other high-end decor publications. It's beautifully wrapped and ready to give. In fact, for last minute gift givers like yours truly, it's so pretty, look at it. I can just hit a button, send it, I don't have to worry about gift wrap, it'll be there, it'll ship, it'll arrive at somebody's door, and they would love it. I would love to get that, it's so pretty. Last year, Adam and I saw it at Costco, and we wanted to get one for everybody in the family. My dad, his mom, have everybody in our lives, myself, my sisters, my brother, get access to the frame so we can send pictures of all of my dad's grandkids from all across the country to one frame. It is so cool, but they sell out ridiculously fast for that reason. So make sure you get yours while supplies last and you can get $40 off using my discount code, which is CLAUSEN, all capitals. C-L-A-U-S-E-N. I'm telling you, they sold out for Christmas, this Valentine's Day. They are a huge hit on the holidays. What makes them so cool? Number one, they have the best quality. So your photos will get uploaded. It has this feature where they can see faces and specific things in the photo and they crop it automatically. So it fills the frame, but nothing is cropped out. They also have auto adjustment. So brightness adjusts depending on the lighting in any room. But what they do too is when you go to sleep and you shut off the lights at night, the frame shuts itself down. So the setup is insanely easy. If some tech challenge people can do it in under two minutes, so can you. All you do is you download the Aura app to your phone. It'll connect to Wi-Fi and sync the two devices together. And then you can invite other people to use the same frame. I invited Adam in this demo so you could see that he can send pictures directly from his camera roll or his Facebook or his Instagram. I can send them directly from camera roll, my social media, and they can all go to the exact same frame. There's unlimited storage. I think it's over 10,000 photos and video can go on one frame. You don't have to sign up for any kind of subscription. There's no hidden fees. In fact, it's more secure and private than sending it through email. What makes this digital frame separate from the rest of them is that most of them do have a subscription service. You have to go through their website. You have to sign up for some hidden fees, send stuff through email, whatever it is. This one is easy, it's fast, it's affordable, and it's secure. The Aura app is compatible with both Android and Apple. My favorite part of the frame, just because I'm a nerd and I think this is really cool, you can do reactions to it. So I can send hearts or congratulations or love just by touching that top bar on the top of the frame, there's a touch bar. I don't know, I'm a nerd, I think it's cool. What a great gift, especially with Mother's Day and Father's Day coming up, I would send them for birthdays. I think everybody in my entire family is gonna get an aura frame and they're gonna love it. So make sure while the supplies last and you can get $40 off, use my code. All the information will be in the description box 
below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I love you guys. And back to the video. First of all, let's really quick go over taking photos of yourself while we walk. We just finished a workout. That's why we're kind of out of breath. We're at the park. Adam's like, what a beautiful backdrop. Let's get this. And I'm like, let's talk pictures. So really quick, first and foremost, lighting is your best friend. The best, absolute best lighting that you could absolutely ever get is natural light. It's the sun. You want the sun to be in front of you, facing you. Um, you don't really want to take pictures or film in the height of the day, like we are right now, when the sun's over your head pointing down, just because it's not the best angle. And the shadows it's leaving. And the shadows it's leaving. So, you know, very, very, very early in the morning or right before the sun goes down are your absolute best. But if you can't, you can't. And there's editing tools and apps and stuff we'll talk about too after that. Number two, iPhones specifically, but most phones now have a timer on them. So you could set it to take your picture. Three seconds, 10 seconds. Can you do more on the iPhone? I don't know. I remember I used my watch. I was just going to say, yep. Adam also has the ability to take either a snapshot or video. Yep using my watch to control my phone when we put it on the tripod yep so the apple watch is an option if you can get that for yourself if you can put it on a gift list or even they make very similar to what adam's talking about remote shutters on amazon they are super cheap i'm talking maybe four dollars you can get them for android or for apple and you could literally just hold it in your hand and hide it. I used to do that all the time when I didn't have an iPhone and they didn't make it for Android yet. And they didn't make it for Android yet, makes no sense. When I didn't have an iPhone and Android didn't have a self timer. So super duper easy. I could put one or two in the description box below, but you can get them anywhere now, probably even the dollar store. Uh, what else? You just wanna work your angles, find out what looks good what you think looks good because you want to be confident you always look beautiful but where you think looks the best and just work that and then even wear what you like to wear wear how you dress how you feel confident and then you're going to look beautiful as beautiful as you are you just want to wear a smile and your confidence which that's got? a perfect segue into some of the the pictures that i liked best the ones that you sent and i'm thinking very specifically even early on when you sent me the pictures from our very first visit, when you were staying at the hotel, yep. oh, the yeah. two of you were playing around. You had a broom, you were like playing air guitar. Time, the two of us were playing around, meaning <laughs> I went with one of my girlfriends uh, and we got a hotel room to stay overnight so we didn't have to drive the two and a half hours back and forth. And we just, go ahead, found props in the hotel and took pictures. Yeah. And we were just having time for our lives. And it, it, you know, it was a hotel in the middle of nowhere. Yep. And there was probably nothing going on. Yep. And it was just the two of you having a great time. Yep. And that transfers, like if that was me with one of my best friends. So we just made it the time of our lives. I did that for one of my best friends. We, um, just like used the couch and the stuff in her living room. But I also did one on my own one year because I didn't, I wanted to dress like a little bit with a little bit less clothes on and I got some balloons that I used as props and I got a happy birthday sign that I used as props. So go to Pinterest for inspiration. I remember that. I definitely remember that. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It was a good photo shoot. It was. That was I had, I had a good time, but I think you're laughing and I can't speak for you, but correct me if I'm wrong. Like, I just had fun. I draped a happy birthday sign. I'm like holding it between my hands. Yes. It was fun. Um, so what were the best kinds of photos? Like what could you recommend for people to send as somebody who was on the inside and then also as a daddy because now we're getting like moms that are watching this too so let's start with somebody on the inside because I, I don't know if those are going to be one of the same or different uh what would someone on the inside want photo wise for... photo wise well i'll tell you one of my favorite pictures is you doing the one arm handstand just because that's a shared passion of yes. ours it's something that's personal to us um and i it was kind of uh, it was you doing, it was something that you were really proud of accomplishing. Yep. So whatever that is, whatever it is that you're proud of doing yep. that you share, you know, with your partner, with your loved ones, like that's something that I always appreciated seeing. Again, it, it spoke to, it was authentic, right? I love that. Yep. Now, what about as now as a new dad? Ooh, as a new dad, you know, I often thought about this and that's one of the things that being on the inside since I did not have any children I was always thinking about if I was a dad you know what would I want 
Um, man, honestly, it's anything, anything related to him. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Like I, you see the pictures I take, I take a million pictures now. Um, and all the ones that you take, like I, I probably have, they're not duplicates, triplicate, triplicates. Like I have 10 pictures exactly the same, but I'm not going to delete any of them. Absolutely. Just because I love them all. Um, so yeah, you really can't go wrong. Anything with children, uh, I would have definitely appreciated that as a dad. Go to Pinterest for some inspiration. Go to my Instagram, row underscore cloth, and go to Adam's Instagram, Adam213 is free, just for some inspiration because we always post stuff on there. But to be honest, I get most of my stuff from Instagram. Now, pictures themselves. I have one tip, and then Adam probably has plenty, but mine seems so easy. Well, I guess it's two in one, but a lot of people neglect this. If you're in your house specifically, just make sure that you... Check the background, like clean the background. You don't want messy dishes in the background. I am sure I have YouTube videos with messy dishes in the background, but I'm saying, okay, first of all, mind your background. Put away like piles of clothes or just don't get them in the shot. And then two, if you do, the crop feature is going to be your best friend. Just crop that stuff out. Mm -hmm. We took pictures of Christian for Christmas and Adam was holding him up and we just cropped his arms out of there. And also there was editing apps. Like if you're in a beautiful place, for example, our wedding, we were in a park and there were dumpsters that were not there when, um, not that we, we didn't even plan our wedding because we canceled it and did it the next day. I have a whole video about it. I'll post it in the cards, but you could just use an app to get rid of that dumpster and you could keep the background or you can use apps that blur the background. The apps that I like are Canva and Pixart. I know that there's Visco, there's Facetune. I'll put links to, in the description box below, but that's all I got. I know you've got plenty because you have a great eye for that. Well, I would say I don't use any of the editing aside from simply I, I crop. Right, just like you said, the the dumpster that somehow miraculously showed up on the day of our wedding, uh, that was never there before, uh, so that was easy to crop out, and we still got incredible pictures. Similarly, as we're coming around in the park right now, like if you look back, there you, you go. You want to take the bring them into into focus. Like I'm always bang. There you go. And it's just the difference of raising your arm up half an inch, two inches. See? Yeah. And just without cropping, you know, I cut out the quartz, everything else. There's the mountains in the background. We got a lot of greenery. And then just leveling it off. Get plenty of blue sky. Beautiful. I'm always looking like what's around us. What are the things that I want? Because if we turned around and went this way, like all of a sudden our backdrop, like. You're in prison. Like it right? Like it does. Right? It looks like the fence is in prison. Um, so the greenery, the mountains, believe me, especially when you've been on the inside for any amount of time, like just to see green grass, a couple of trees. And mind you, we're in the desert, right? We're in Las Vegas. So uh, coming to the park, finding a place like this, truly appreciate it. The mountains in the background, beautiful blue sky, everything just... Man, it looks so alive. So that's what I look for. Awesome. Just so, just a couple things before we go. On this note, one more thing. Out and about now, there are so many amazing murals and walls, and mm -hmm. even just like a pretty. I remember in Bradford when I used to visit you, there was this building, and they painted the door purple, and they put some flowers and like a basket and a bike out there. It's so cute. So if you find those areas, they're gems because all you have to do is edit those pictures. Use your little remote or your watch or the timer setting on your phone maybe a tripod we have a tripod from walmart we got for 20 dollars, and you're done just Welcome. a note though sorry if you're out and about and you're alone and you're taking pictures of yourself and you feel uncomfortable or there's somebody creepy there don't sacrifice your safety just leave go someplace else that's a good point um just because i've been there you know i used to take pictures in bradford and i would carry mace with me i'm not gonna lie but uh, you can get that on Amazon as well. I'll link it below. And you needed that in Bradford. And you needed that in Bradford. But last thing, real quick, because I don't want to make this video too long. No, can can you just, I want you to uh, throw in, when you were talking about the murals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my favorite pictures. Let's stop right here for a yeah. second. Because that's a okay, beautiful backdrop. Look at that sky. Mm. But anyways, uh, when you were talking about the murals. Yeah. The picture of you, me, my mom, CJ, 
in Tivoli. I'll put it here. Yep, with the hands. Yeah, put that one in. Yeah, is that on your Instagram? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you just find them in your city. I wonder if you could Google that. Go on people, like look at the hashtag of the city you live in or the nearest city where you live. And like if we put in hashtag Las Vegas, I'm sure a whole bunch of stuff will come up on Instagram where people went in front of this cool mural and they hashtagged it because they wanted to and then you could find spots to go. But just be safe. Even parking garages could be cool. Like there's stuff with like a trendy vibe. Just be safe. Last. Because Mother's Day and Father's Day are coming up. Gifts. Pictures make amazing gifts. We used to send each other pictures a lot of times as gifts for one another. But here's the thing too. I always knew Adam was coming home. We believed it until we believed him out of there. So some really cool gifts that I got for you were gifts that I started and kept on the outside for him when he came home. You did the same thing for me with the jewelry boxes. So a really cool gift would be this picture frame from Aura. It's a digital picture frame. So Adam can upload pictures. I can upload pictures and I would upload pictures to there and they, and I could have them there right from my Instagram, from my Facebook. Let's say we had CJ and Adam was still inside or a child when Adam was still inside, you can upload pictures of the child as they grow throughout the years. So they'll always be there. And it's just literally the click of a button. We can also do this for grandma. Now, if we got her the frame, we can upload pictures as we take them. She's in Wisconsin, we're in Las Vegas, and she's getting new pictures all the time. What do you think about? Which is perfect because grandma is always complaining about not getting the pictures. Not getting the pictures. Or they disappear before she gets a chance to see them. Yeah, and I think it's perfect. Anything else? Perfect. That's it. Any other presents on the inside for Mother's Day, Father's Day that you would think would be ideal? Aside from photo shoots, things that the children make. Yeah, any anything that the kids make, you know, that's the perfect gift. Can't kids go wrong. Photo shoots with the kids. Try to take some of these tips. If you do them, let us know in the comments what you think. But they are, are for me, foolproof. Get the lighting right and it'll take 10 years off of you. Good? Good. We love you guys. See you in the next one.